What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I want to show you guys how we can take a character in the AccuRig so we can get it all rigged up and then from there take it over to iClone so that we can take multiple instances of motion capture data from Mixamo, put it all together inside of iClone, and we have a complete animation. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as you can see right here, I'm inside of Cinema 4D. The only reason I'm here is because I'm showing you this model that I have of Spider-Man. You can see that it's just one mesh here, nothing too crazy going on just a couple of textures and absolutely no skeletal rig. And so I do have this as an FBX on which I'm gonna bring into AccuRig right now. And so I have AccuRig opened up right here. What I'm gonna do is actually just gonna click and drag my Spider-Man FBX in the hair like so, which I'm gonna put into this box here. So I'm gonna to come to my Windows Explorer, click and drag this FBX right into this window right here. And now you see we have our Spider-Man figure in here. Everything is symmetrical. And so from here, I'm just going to rig the body. And I showed this in my previous tutorial. So I'm just going to go through these steps really fast here. And as you can see right now, it looks like all the points are where they should be. So I'm not going to mess with any of these points here. I'm just going to come down here to the lower right hand corner where it says rig right hand. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to wait for it to rig all the joints in the hands here. All right, there we go. So that's the right hand right there. It looks like all the joints are where they need to be. So I'm going to proceed down here where it says rig left hand. I'm going to left click on this. And it looks like we have a problem here, which this is good. So as you can see, this one, it looks like the joints on the thumb didn't correlate where they needed to go. And so if you see that one hand actually rig correctly and the other hand different, you can actually mirror those joints onto this one like so. So if I come down in here where it says mirror, I'm going to click on this one right here where it says mirror to left hand. So it's going to mirror the one from the right hand to the left hand. So if I click on this, now you can see all the joints went where they're supposed to be. And if I look at my right hand, everything is as is left hand, same thing. So that's just a quick tip. If you got something that didn't quite rig in, you can always use this mirror function down here to make sure everything is symmetrical. So from here, I'm just going to hit finalize character in which here we go so now we have our spider-man character in here it looks like the hands and everything as they should be i could just click on this just to kind of test out the hands and everything looks like the joints are where they're supposed to be going so the next step from here i'm actually going to export this out so that i can bring it in the iclone 8 and so in order to do that in the lower right hand corner right here where it says export i'm going to click on export and then I'm just going to save the I avatar. And once you save this out, it's going to actually save it so that we can open it up at iClone 8. So let me click on this. And I already saved it out earlier because I did this previously. But you would just save it. And you can see it automatically has the iClone 8 icon right here. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to bring this into iClone 8. And then we're going to take different Mixamo data captures and bring those all together so we can have Spider-Man swinging in the air. All right. So here we are. We're inside of iClone 8 in which I'm going to be using my handy dandy space mouse. I'm going to be doing a video on this. They just sent me this. I saw that SIGGRAPH, really, really dope, but it works with iClone 8. So more on this to come, stay tuned. <laughs> but back to the tutorial. So as I was saying, we have Spider-Man in here. And as you can see, he's just in like his typical standing pose. And so I want to put him into the T pose. So what I'm going to do is come down here into my timeline and right here where it says motion, I'm going to select this. And I'm going to hit delete and that's going to bring us back into the T pose. Now from here, we can start bringing in our motion capture data and we can start kind of like merging these together. I'm going to bring them in for Mixamo because I know in my last video, people were talking about the animation library and how they still wanted to use free assets. And so basically any motion capture data, you could bring in the iClone and you can even mix and match. But I'm going to show you guys how we could just take several clips from Mixamo, put them together inside of iClone and make a blended out animation. Which brings us to use a Mixamo. So I'm at Mixamo.com right now. I'm just going to use the standard character, which is the Y bot, because I'm not really concerned about the character in this instant. I'm just going to bring out the motion capture data with no skin attached. So I'm going to come over here to animation. And if I click right here, I'm just going to left click in the search box. And you can actually see that we have different genres and animation in here. So I'm going to click on superhero. And you can see we have some Spider-Man type stuff in here. So if I click on swinging, you can see we have our character kind of swinging in the air there. I know my mouse kind of flew backwards there, but there we go. So we have our character starting to fly in the air. If I go into search and I type in swing and leave the superhero still clicked on, 
you can see it's going to give us a lot more swinging motions and so the ones that i'm probably going to pick are the ones that say start swing so if you just click on this one you can see our character is getting into the beginning swinging motions and then i'm probably going to just hit download on here come over here i'm going to do 60 frames per second but you know feel free to use what you want and then for skin instead of whisking i'm going to do without skin now the reason i'm doing this is because i strictly just want the motion capture data i don't want the mesh or anything to come over with it which should make it a lot more lighter as well so you just want to go there and click download and there we go so that one downloaded and then the next one i'm going to pick will probably be this one here because it has like that cool spider-man movement right there which is iconic so i'm going to do the same thing here as well just click on download 60 frames per second and i'm going to do it without skin so from here since we have spider-man already rigged up he's brought into iclone 8 it's as easy as just clicking and dragging these animations into iclone and just kind of making sure they line up inside the timeline and so now that i'm in the iclone i'm gonna have it set up inside the animation window just so i can see the timeline and everything a little bit better and so i want to make sure i have spider-man here selected you'll see a bounding box there and then i'm just going to left click and drag the animation of which again i'm using dual monitors so i do have my windows explorer right here but i'm just going to keep it off screen so i can easily see it better so i'm going to do start swinging i'm just going to left click and drag it into here and then that's going to pop up with this import window and so here we have a couple of options and i'm just going to use the one that pops up first but if you click on it you can see you have different profiles here the profile that you want to use or the one at least that's been working for me is this one right here where it says mixamo underscore chxx character so i'm going to leave it on that one just hit convert all and now we should have our spider-man i can see his shadow down there but it looks like he's going to be starting up here just as it was inside of mixamo so if i click on play you can see we have him starting in his movement and so we want to continue that on down here in my timeline maybe let's say around 110 somewhere around here and so i'm going to take that other motion capture data just click and drag it make sure i have spider-man selected and i'm going to do this one here that i have for swinging i'm just going to select it and drag it in there same thing hit convert all and now as i scroll through my timeline you see that these are starting to blend together and if you want to move it a little bit over you can see right here where you have this x this is actually like our transitional moment so if i slowly pull through here like so you can kind of manipulate it as well in which i want to talk about this right here so the cool thing about iclone is how we can actually go through and manipulate some of the joints because if i scroll in the spider-man here a little bit let me push in here you can see that the arms are going through the head they're crossed up in here for whatever reason this particular animation didn't come in as it was supposed to and so it's as easy as coming over to modify i'm going to come down here to where it says edit motion layer and i want to make sure i have my layer selected here i'm going to hit edit motion layer and that's going to bring up this window here which shows us a bunch of joints so if i click on like the right shoulder and then i click on up here where we have our rotational tool i'm just going to actually move this out a little bit just so it's not going inside of his head anymore something like that do the same thing for the other shoulder and then i can also bring it in a little bit and so i'm doing this quick and fast for the tutorial but you kind of get a sense of what i'm doing so you can really go in here and fine tune how you want the joints to be and let me actually exit this out and now if i play it through now the arms aren't going through his head so if i scroll back let's see and play this through there we go and there we go so we have all of our animations playing through let me play that back again you can actually export this out bring it into like cinema 4d unreal engine etc but that's just a quick and easy way of how we could take these motion clips and actually bring them together inside of iClone and we rigged it all up using AccuRig. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Just wanted to put together this quick tutorial on how you could use AccuRig with some of the applications that you use. In this case, I use iClone 8, but you could do the same thing like if you use Cinema 4D, Maya, Motion Builder, etc. 
you can actually just use AccuRig to rig up your character and then you will bring it into the DCC of your choice to kind of do your motion capture and your animation keyframes from there. So if this did help you out, make sure you leave me a comment down below. I try to answer everybody that asks me anything down there. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.